गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग डियर ओके सो आई थिंक ऑलमोस्ट ऑल चैप्टर्स ऑफ फिजिक्स इज ओवर एम आई राइट या गुड आई एम नॉट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम विद यू बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड so i just start with the 10th portion so your books are available here you will get a time to collect it uh, these days uh, so we will come to you so uh, ninth examination are i think already you are informed by teachers on uh, the month of jan maybe first or second week yeah we'll wind up with that examination we will start uh, for grade 10 the so by um, jan last week and we'll try to finish the chapters before october so we'll get enough time ample time to prepare for examinations our test uh, pre boards one or two three you can if you can do three pre boards before your final board examination it will be very helpful for you to make it from a real teaching and uh, a lot of things can to revision ways that's why you're planning such a way that uh, we you don't have examination these days because to wind up your session says 9 then to start 10 portions okay so i'm just move to the next topic of your 10th grade uh light you can just note down the light when your text or comes you can uh, understand it very easily is a precursor to your uh, next year classes okay uh, in it uh, light we are learning about refraction 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 uh, when we discuss about light light has three properties major properties of light is the phenomenon that has occurred with the light is reflection refraction and dispersion dispersion these are three major phenomenon of uh, light we are learning these days a uh, reflection you know that what is reflection what you mean by reflection yeah what is the actually uh, scientifically how can we define mirror yeah come on try anyone please reflection what is the concept Yeah, please fill your ideas to me. Please come up with your ideas. What you are understand understood by reflection? Anyone, please try. Reflection of light. No, it is not change in direction. When light falls on a surface it will be returned back this is reflection when light falls on a reflecting surface so this is a reflecting surface reflecting surface so the light which falls on is known as incident ray when an incident ray falls on a reflecting surface it will be returned back that phenomenon is known as reflection the returned light ray is known as reflected ray are you with me okay that is reflection that's about reflection now i come with dispersion what do you mean by dispersion how many colors are there in la white light seven. seven colors are there seven colors are there sometimes 
maybe if you take a prism prism means a glass structure of triangular shape a 3d glass structure prism if you allow white light or any light on this one when it moves to another medium it was in air now is a glass the medium is glass here sometimes it may split into its component colors have you got it yes sir this is known as dispersion this phenomenon is known as dispersion when light moves from one medium to another medium it may split into its component colors that phenomenon is known as dispersion can you suggest a very natural uh, example for dispersion rainbow 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 is the natural uh, example for dispersion when light sunlight moves through water droplets in atmosphere it may split into its component colors that is appeared as rainbow in the sky okay very good very good you are just following me that is dispersion split into component colors that's the key word okay example we can see rainbow fine here reflection means return back now the third property is maybe i have written here second property refraction refraction means practical example we can see if you take a spoon and uh, put into a glass which is filled with water so we take a glass of water and put a spoon or something a stick scale and take it to the water if you just see from outside you can see there's a bending have you see that yeah yeah, yeah we can see the spoon is little bent if you look from some sides even if you are looking some fishes from down we can see size is different sometimes size is less uh, we can see the a bending there that is that is because of refraction what is actually refraction very simple take a glass slab when i say glass slab have you got the concept yeah this is a glass maybe this is a sponge if you take a glass piece like this it is known as glass slab have you got it yeah a structure like this made up of glass that's all so glass slab so it is a three dimensional one that's why it is a glass slab okay i am not drawing the three dimensional structure no no if a ray falls on another medium so we can say incident ray incident ray because the ray always falls to another medium surface of another medium is known as incident ray the ray incident on it so here medium is air here medium is glass what do you think if the light we go in straight line or bent two possibility whether the light will go is a transparent medium so it can pass it can go through whether that line the path of this incident ray is straight or is there bending what do you think what do you think anyone it will bend it will bend the path will be deviated 
actually it has to move in this line but it won't it will slightly change its direction this phenomenon is known as or this property is known as a refraction when light moves from one medium to another medium its direction is changed that is refraction when light ray moves from one medium to another medium is direction change its direction changes when light ray moves from one medium to another medium its direction changes this phenomenon is known as refraction okay what do you think about it if it moves from air to glass slab its direction little bent changed so that ray is known as refracted ray refracted ray so when light moves from one medium to another medium its direction little changes that phenomenon is known as refraction so the ray falls on glass slab is incident ray the ray which is changed the line is refracted ray what do you think about if it moves from glass slab to air again it's now it's moving from glass slab to air one medium to another medium direction will change or not change it will change like this again it is supposed to go like this but it won't it will change us so actually you just see if the if there is no glass slab actually our line is like this now the line is like this because of the presence of glass the entire path of the ray is changed that's why when we look into glass of water with a spoon spoon feels bended so the ray is entering into will be deviated little bit it makes a change in path a change in vision am i clear okay so that is refraction yeah i'll just move one more concept in refraction have you ever heard about the term normal what is normal a basic idea when we say normal i'm not asking about normal means in literature in physics or mathematics what is normal okay i will give you a simple example not example a demonstration think this is surface this is a sheet something or a glass slab something if somebody asked maybe this top is ab surface ab if somebody asked you to draw a normal how do you draw a normal to this surface Pardon? Slanting. Slanting. When we say slanting, can you give angle? Normal means the perpendicular line to a surface. If somebody told you make a point, see here, 
somebody told draw a normal at C means it should be a perpendicular line. What do you mean perpendicular line? It makes 90 degree with the surface. Are you clear? Okay, fine. Think now I took a glass slab glass slab here a point the our light ray is falls on light is falls on this is the point of so this is incident ray incident ray it fell on this point so this point is known as point of incidence point of incidence means where the light ray is fall that's all if somebody asked you to draw a normal how can you draw a normal here just see uh, am i right or not Am I right or wrong? Yes. Loudly, clearly. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Right. Because I am asked to draw a normal at point of incidence at the surface. So, it make a 90 degree angle. So, normal means make a, if, if you think as how have tall here draw a normal how you draw this is 90 degree the surface is a difference you have to draw accordingly but the rule is that normal means it should be a 90 degree angle this between surface and the normal line is it clear yes, yes. okay yes, okay very good now you see we have two medium this medium is air this medium is glass which is denser medium glass glass is the denser medium very good density is more that is denser medium opposite of denser medium opposite to denser are you do you know or not no a rarer medium R A R E R less density a rarer medium so we have two types of medium denser medium and rarer medium when we consider air and glass air is then rarer and glass is denser is it clear okay fine now see uh, the incident ray light ray is falls here now it is moving from which medium to which medium air to glass uh, if you if you term in the, uh, in the in the term of medium rarer to denser so if a light ray moves from a rarer to denser denser it bent it bends towards normal that's the rule it bends actually it is, it is supposed to go like this straight but we know that refraction will happen it bends towards the normal it bends towards the normal rarer to denser medium always light ray bent towards normal have you got it okay see it strike on another surface here so you have to draw a normal here because again refraction is going to happen why it is moving from one medium to another medium so see now it moves from which medium to which medium 
denser to rarer. What's the possibility? Moves towards or moves away? Moves away. That's why it moves away. That's why we are getting picture like this. So, just opposite, denser to light, lighter or rarer, bends away from normal. Are you clear? Okay, very good. This is about refraction, basic uh, understanding about refraction, how refraction happens uh, somewhere and all. I will just give one more example. It might be actually splendid to light ray falls from here. This is the point of incidence. Incidence. Point, point of incidence. This is incident ray. We have to draw a normal. Normal. This is the surface. So, it should be 90 degree. So, this is the normal. Are you getting me? Oh, very good. Very good. So, possibility bending towards or away. It will go down or up? Down, because uh, it's a denser medium, glass medium, so it will come closer to, it bend like this. Actually, it is supposed to go this way, but refraction happens towards normal, because rarer to denser. Again, it falls on here. We can draw a normal. Now, denser to? Denser to? Rarer. What do you think? Close or away? Away. It moves away. So, you see, actually, if there is no prism, the light ray has to go this way. Because of this prism, it comes this way now. Now, it is going this way. The, it comes from here, supposed to go like this. It is banded two times and comes like this. That is why we can see differences in look inside glass of water and all. Because supposed to meet from here, now we are meeting from here. That is the difference. This is example, example for refraction in prism. This is the picture refraction in glass slab. So, refraction in prisms. This is a model refraction in glass slabs. Wherever you are doing refraction, just think about if it is from rarer to denser, closer to normal, when it is from denser to rarer, away from the normal. I think I am clear. Thank you. May God bless.